how do you make good decisions? Because there's going to be so many situations where you've got like a fork in the road and you have to make a choice of, of which direction you want to take your life in. And it's really hard and can cause a lot of like stress and anxiety because you want to make the best decision for yourself long term. But it is really hard to, to know which way that is just because at the end of the day, you don't have a crystal ball. Like you can't see into the future and, and know exactly what's going to be the best for you long term. So there is a bit of like guesswork and and you don't want to make the wrong decision. So it can be quite stressful. But there's one tool that I've used that really has helped me in, in making good decisions long term in my life. And it's called regret minimization. So basically it's just, it's a framework I use to look at decisions and it's about choosing the option that has less chance of me regretting later on in life. So, and the reason I use that is because I see it all the time in like older people that they, they always say like, oh, I wish I had done this when I was younger or I should have done this when I had the chance or I regret not doing this. And they have like that look of regret in their eye, which, which I actually find really scary because the last thing I want to do is be one of those old people who is looking back on their life and, and sort of saying, I should have done this. So I regret not doing this. So it's a really like powerful framework to help me make big decisions. And to give an example, like a few years ago, I was, I was in my first kind of proper job out of university and I really wasn't enjoying it at all. Like I, I didn't like getting up and going to work each day. I felt really like trapped and, and just really wasn't enjoying it at all. And I was kind of debating like, should I stay in this job or should I, should I quit and like go traveling for a bit or whatever? And like part of me was saying like, I shouldn't quit this job because it's going to be really hard to find another job. Like I'm just straight out of uni blah, 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 all these things. And so, but then obviously I was like miserable. So I, I was really stuck and I didn't know like what decision to make. But once you apply like this regret minimization framework, um, obviously it, it's different for everyone. But for me personally, I was thinking when I'm 80, looking back on this decision, like, am I really going to regret quitting a job I don't like? And then even if I'm like, struggling for like a year or two and I can't find another job for like another year or whatever. Like in the grand scheme of life, like one year or two years isn't that much. So is that something I'm actually going to regret? And then looking at the, like the other option, if I decided not to travel, like maybe later on in life, I've got like more commitments. I've got like a house and, and kids or whatever. So I can't just get up and, and go traveling whenever I want. And so is that something that there's potential for me to look back on and regret not doing? So in my case, personally, there was a lot higher chance of regret for st actually staying in that job and, and missing out on that opportunity of potentially traveling. So it sort of helped me make the decision to, to ultimately quit the job and, and do a bit of traveling for the next few months. And, um, and yeah, so it's just about taking that, like taking that step back and having the high level view of the decision and, and sort of seeing like long term, what's what are you more likely to regret either doing or not doing and sort of using that to guide the decision. So that really, really has helped me um, and I still use it today. Like if I've got big decisions I need to make it, I find it really useful in getting a bit more clarity and, and making a decision that way. So yeah, hope that helps a little bit and please subscribe to this channel if you like the videos. I'll keep putting more out and I'll speak to you soon.